Hey, welcome back to a new weekly vlog. I have been up for, it's like nine o'clock now, so three and a half hours. This week I am trying to get up with Trav. Um, he usually gets up at 5.30. So let me move to like, let me turn off Friends, which is going on right now. I honestly like got up, came downstairs, made coffee, made my, um, me grass juice and then after he left for work i sat down on the couch and just did work on the computer because i think physically my body was just like in shock and couldn't really move so i've just been doing a little cleaning um with some clothes brought them down to the basement so the stack of like pjs you saw me hold or like at the end of the bed is going downstairs because they're just like warmer flannels that i feel like we don't need anymore but it is it like snowed so much this morning it's not snowing anymore but let me show you how much snow is on the ground so yeah look at that snow it actually like stuck to the ground that's how much there was and hello little squirrel we have a bird feeder so there's a lot of food that kind of drops there so squirrels and birds like to hang out there all right so i'm just tossing some stuff in the sink that i used this morning I haven't eaten anything just because I knew my stomach would be like super pissed off at me if I ate at like 5.30 in the morning. So I am, I had so many liquids this morning. I don't know if I'm gonna make a smoothie or what I should do. I don't really know what I should make for breakfast. Um, I took out some chicken broth that I have frozen in my freezer for lunch today. Um, feeling like hot noodles with like chicken broth. So that's one benefit of getting up early. I'm gonna munch on some blueberries and blackberries for now um, while I try to figure out my appetite. Ugh, maybe I can't have blackberries because I think that started to mold. These are from last week. I just for some reason didn't eat them. Okay, bad call doing laundry that early because you guys can't hear me in the kitchen. But basically I decided to have blueberries and blackberries and then realized my blackberries have gone bad. Um, they were from last week, but they looked fine. So I thought that they'd be okay, but that's my bad. Now I feel really bad that they went to waste, but won't happen again. Anyways, blueberries are pretty good right now. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit more work on my laptop. tasks in terms of computer work um i wanted to show you slash talk to you guys about like my online shopping habits and a little bit about like my low buy year if you have just joined me in february i want to say i talked about how i wanted to do a low buy year sorry if you can still hear the dryer in the background i had to go another 20 minutes because some of my sweaters were still damp but anyways I wanted to do low buy year and I had a bunch of rules. I will link the low buy video like in the description box for this week's vlog, but this was before like the pandemic happened. So I'm going to be switching my rules a little bit. Like I had more, I had some luxury purchases this year, but I think I'm going to like cut that down, like way down. If things do start looking better then I'll maybe like have like one fun purchase this year but other than that I'm really gonna cut that out because just like obviously with everything happening my priorities are changing and things obviously are so different so in terms of 
buying though i find myself like online shopping a lot more obviously i think because i'm home more i'm on the computer more i like feel like i'm procrastinating even more and most of the time that i have like i normally shop is because like i'm bored or i'm looking for something to do and obviously i love looking online and like seeing what's out there and what's new and in the fashion world especially i have been super conscious on not just like pressing the checkout button when i like am done like adding things to my cart what i've been doing lately is just like adding things that like i like um, or am even considering buying, adding it to the cart, and then just like leaving it for at least a week. If it's like a sale item, then I'll leave it for like the day at least and just like kind of assess if I can't stop thinking about it, then I'll likely get that. But if I'm like, oh, like what did I even want? Or like not really remember what it was that I wanted, I usually just keep leaving it because in my mind it's like, if it's sold out by the time I go back to it, am I going to be that sad? If I'm going to be devastated and really heartbroken that like I lost that opportunity to get it, then I'll just buy it then. And if it's something on my wish list that I have been wanting for a while and it happens to go on sale, then probably I'll pick it up then. But if it's just because I'm bored and wanted to check some things out, I like more often than none have like, I right now I think I have like three carts going and I haven't like purchased anything. So I have like a cart going for shop up a cart on h&m that's going and now i have one on cb2 so another thing is i've been really like craving home decor obviously because you're, i'm in the same space all the time now i just like want it to look nicer so right now i have some really cute things something that i've been wanting for like a year now which is they're really cute i'm gonna put it up right here so it's their two-piece neutral salt and pepper grinder set. Probably seen on Pinterest, on other people's Instagram. I just think they're so sleek and so minimal that I'm like very, very swayed to get this right now because I've just been thinking about it forever. And I really want a new um, utensil holder because ours are just like metal and I feel like it just really darkens the top of the kitchen counter. And, and so having a white one, I feel like would just like brighten it up and bring everything like because we have white counters and bring that white into the top of the kitchen so that's like this one's very minimal as well and then because i've been ordering groceries online avocados and lemons and some of that stuff just like don't come like ripe enough like normally when i would go to the store i would go and choose like riper avocados so I can eat right away. So I want this like bowl, kind of like statement bowl to go on the dining um, table to put my avocados in and put some lemons in and stuff like that, like for decor and also for functional purposes. So this one's looking really cute, but I'm not sure. That's what's in my cart. And then let me show you shop bought. So I have these Eagle E pinch waist shorts. Um, I'm starting to collect shorts for a denim short video. I already ordered a pair from Gap um, that are very similar and I just want to try like different brands and price points but very likely going to be doing like high-waisted longer shorts this summer because that's just what I'm vibing. And there's this really cute cardigan with puff sleeves and buttons that's like I think is really nice and the price point is really good. It's like $84 and it's hard to find like things under $100 on Shopbub especially. But I am worried that it's too cropped and there's not really like, I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of opportunity to wear like a thick knit short sleeve cardigan. Like I have like a thinner, like a cashmere cardigan from Everlane that I feel like I would wear it in similar occasions and I might not need another one. Then there's this beautiful Isabelle Morant Etois Estine dress. I'm a big fan of dresses from Isabel Morale. Like when I'm gonna get a dress, very like it's usually gonna be from her. But I think it might just be a little bit too pricey for a dress right now. It'd be great if I was actually going to some of the weddings that I had planned this summer, but I think I'm just gonna put it in my favorites. And if it goes on more sale, then I'll grab it. So I'm gonna just move to wish list. And then there are these Linda Faro Lux classic aviator sunglasses. So Linda Farrow is one of my favorite like luxury sunglass 
companies um, they tend to be really light and she tends to always have like nose pieces which I find really important when I'm buying sunglasses and these ones are like basically a little bit bigger version of the Ray-Ban rounds which I really loved and mine went missing so I might replace it with these again they say that there's only two left so I'm gonna have to act on it fast if I do really want it. So I realized I actually never showed you what I changed into. I was wearing my Tiki's hoodie this morning, but I changed into this cardigan. And this is a Anna and Zach like long sleeve, which I think I'm gonna change out of like this top part now because I'm feeling, I'm just like, I feel so brain dead from waking up so early. I think I really have to get used to it, but like, I'm just like, staring at my computer for like extra five seconds to even figure out what I wanted to do in the first place. And then these are Gap sweatpants, but I think they're sold out. So I will link you like the style shape, but I think these striped ones don't exist anymore. And then these are Madewell slippers. So I will find you them or something similar. So I just made some vermicelli noodles and chicken broth and some soy sauce. So tired. So hopefully this will actually warm me up and wake me up. Good morning, it is Tuesday and it is 7.28, I think last time I checked, like 7.30. Yeah, 7.30 and um, I have been up since 5.30 again. This is the week where I'm gonna try to be up early. I kinda wanna change where I'm talking to you guys because the lighting is horrid. And the lighting by the stairs is actually really cute right now. There's like really nice shadows, which hopefully will show. Oh my god, okay, that's better. So, yes, it's 7.30, Tuesday, second day of waking up super early with Trav. Um, I'm drinking some coffee right now because obviously I need it. You might be wondering why I have sunglasses on top of my head. These I found recently, I've, I've actually lost them for a while. In the super light, they're Ray-Bans. Don't think they make them anymore. They're like, I think one of their like random launches. Anyways, I've been up went out actually to go get more bread because Travis is going through it like crazy. Like, I don't know what eats a lot of bread. I like a duck, <laughs> like, like a duck who loves bread. Um, normally he has like bagels and bread, but like this week he couldn't find bagels and um, I didn't want to venture into the grocery store just for bagels. So I just went to Cobbs and got another loaf. And on Tuesdays they have double stamp days, so that's great. And I picked myself up a banana chocolate chip scone, which I'm excited to eat, but because, um, sorry, I just heard the fan and I realized I am supposed to be turning that off when I got home. Um, so I'm gonna save that till later because right now my stomach is still like not ready to eat this early in the morning. There we go. Um, so that's why. I am just drinking coffee. I have been doing the wheatgrass in the morning, like at 5.30 and then um, coffee. So I've had like two cups of coffee in the morning slash yesterday. I feel like I've talked to you guys like I'm a crazy person because my thoughts are still forming and I don't know, I'm walking in a circle in my house. I need to put you guys down because my arm is tired. <sighs> Can we do it this like this? I'll rest it on my thigh. I want to shower because my hair I feel like is pretty oily. Um, I'm gonna unpack the air wrap. So I'll bring you guys with me the Dyson air wrap and then try it out. And then I have my regular real estate meeting at 10. And then I have to finish editing the photo for like a campaign and doing some stories and then writing the caption. Caption for me is always the hardest. I'm just like not the best writer. And then I said that I was gonna unpack my Everlane stuff yesterday, but I'm actually gonna unpack it today. I realized I can't even film this week yet because there are some items that I'm still waiting on. Um, like some pieces that I requested that aren't launching till like next week. So I don't think I'm gonna get them for a bit. So I have to wait. Um, to actually film so I had to figure out what I'm filming for this Thursday's video. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then um, Open the Dyson I think. Oh, and actually I did put on pants. So this is the Aritzia perfect hoodie and then these are the Everlane like Straight leg pants that I had in my last video with the 
kind of like seam down the leg. So I wasn't wearing sweatpants out, which I was quite proud of. Today, I love the sun, it's so nice. These are my intense fabric scissors for cutting jeans and sweaters. Look how nice this box is. It's like this gorgeous leather. Okay, let's see what's inside. It reminds me of my MacBook Pro cover. So your hair has to be damp. 10 centimeters from the end, bring barrel towards tips. Hair will self wrap, move styler towards your head, no need to twist. Hold until hair is dry, switch off to release the curl. So this looks like the base. So this is a filter. Okay, so there's a filter here, that's why this one comes off. So this is this a little brush thing? So this is like the bird's eye view of the box. So there's this guy. And then this brush. And then there's this one with some different bristles. This is like the 40 millimeter air wrap barrel. And then, sorry, these are both 40. Need to read the instructions why there's two. And then the 30 millimeter barrel. And then this is the little blow dryer. But I just wanted to quickly show you how gorgeous this lighting is. Like, oh my gosh. So pretty, these shadows. So I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet. I'm going to quickly try the air wrap um, for the first time before my real estate meeting. I changed again because I like changed three times yesterday. I think just waking up early, I got bored really easily. So this is that Zara like fluffy sweater you saw. Um, on last week's vlog, I'm obsessed with it. It's so cozy. If it has more colors, I might order another one just because I'm obsessed. I'm going to start out with this guy. So I'm going to attach you. Attaches and then, so I am going to turn it on. Okay. So the wind actually comes out of this end, not the pink end, which I didn't know. So I'm just going to quickly dry it a little bit. So that, because I think it just wants like damp hair. So I'm gonna try the curling. All right, now let's see. Do I wanna try the smoothing brush or should we go for the curl? I think let's go for the curl, why not? How much time do I have? I have 14 minutes before my meeting. Let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna try the 40 millimeter one. Okay, so I went the wrong way. So it curls in. How do I get it to curl out? Way? Is that what it's for? Yes, okay. I see, that's why there's two, because they go different ways. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So it's from the hair, let it go. I think I messed it up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me try this again. Cool. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's start in the back then. In the back of my hair. best that I can do right now on short notice. It's kind of cute. 
it's not the typical curls that I go for, but I am late to my meeting. So at least like it doesn't look disastrous. <laughs> done my meeting and um, the camera battery died midway so I didn't finish filming the zoom call but it's, it was gonna be time-lapse anyways um, I am I guess just getting used to this type of hairstyle like it's a different kind of curl I usually do like beach waves but I think that this is like super easy to do when I just um, wash my hair and have it damp so I think that I like it now. I wasn't really sure about it when I first did it. And also I was just like rushed to go to the meeting. What do you guys think? Are we liking this little like kind of, it's very like flirty. It's like a flirty um, hairstyle versus like the beach waves I feel like are a little bit like more like casual, cool girl. This one's a little bit more bouncy. This is what I decided to wear after my shower. I kept the Zara sweater on just because it's so comfy. Changed into some bike shorts and I'm gonna probably put some socks on because um, it's cold. It says it's 18 and a half in the house, but I'm probably going to make it 20. All right, I am about to go out to the UPS store. I need to pick up a package and then there was this giveaway that I did with a brand a long time ago, but they were responsible for choosing the winner and they just chose it, so I'm gonna go drop it off. <coughs> Anyways, what I meant to say is I'm about to go drop that off because it's the same place as where I need to pick up stuff, so let's go. I'm gonna put you down here for a second while I get my jacket. So I'm going to change my jacket. I've been wearing like the same jacket basically all quarantine because I have like my wallet and stuff in it, but it's kind of like the weather now for this quilted number from Everlane. Can you see it? I'm in like creams, maybe not. It's all, I'm wearing all white and I think it's a little bit too much. Anyways, so this is the jacket that I've been wearing out. Basically, full quarantine, really oversized with Zara from like last summer end of last summer and i just like have my abby pen my wallet and then my keys that are always in here so it's my go-to jacket and it's perfect for this weather and because it has like lower armpits um any sweaters can fit under like that was the one thing with the everlane one i just put on like this sweater was getting all caught and so it was super uncomfortable I just finished some yoga, so I came up, came downstairs to grab the camera, uh, just to show you my, ooh, sorry, the focusing's weird, show you my mat um, and the app that I use. I'm not gonna show you me doing yoga. It's just like, I feel like it's unnecessary. You can watch the classes. The teachers do it so much better. So I wanted to show you, this is the Sage Mat Cleaner that I used to spray my mat. And then I got this um, marble yoga mat, I think like a year or two ago from Lulu. It smells really great. I just spray it until it's covered and then leave it for a minute or two, just so that it can do its job. And I use Yoga Glow, so it's an app that I downloaded onto my iPad. I think my iPad's glitching lately, it's getting old. Basically, like it's awesome because you can choose like how much time you have and like what kind of programs you want to do. I have like a favorite teacher just because I like his voice. So like, what's his name? I think his name's like Dice or something. Yeah, Dice. And so like under his account, you can just find all his classes. So I just did, which one did I just do? Twist to Detox. So I'm usually around like level one, level two, just because I'm not like <laughs> flexible whatsoever. And so I need to work my way up to the other ones. So yeah, anyways, that's the app I use.
good morning. It is third Wednesday and it's another early morning. It was another early morning for me. Um, not 5.30, but like 5.45. And this morning I just worked at my computer. As you saw, I had breakfast at like seven. So I'm starting to like want to eat earlier, which I am kind of nervous about because that means I'll eat more food probably during the day. I need to film a YouTube video today. I am just trying to figure out what to do. I think I'm going to do kind of like a mixed haul video because I got a bunch of new stuff so I'm gonna just get it all together hang it up in the um brighter master room there to get it prepped I'm probably not gonna film till like 11 and I need to like depuff a little bit more I've had enough coffee for a little bit I started to have like two and a half cups in the morning when I wake up after my wheatgrass juice it's so gonna stand by the heater right here because it's so cold. I checked the, oh, the fan's going on. I checked the temperature and it's like 18 and a half, but I turned it up to 20. It's pretty nice and bright out today. So hopefully, maybe I might be able to sit outside. It's about 10 o'clock, I am already hungry. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. I saw that Organic Traditions posted this recipe um, that I screenshotted on their stories on Instagram. I don't know if you guys can see it. They posted it on their stories, but I don't have all the ingredients, so I'm going to have to, what do you call it? Improvise a little bit. So instead of spinach, because I don't have spinach, I'm gonna do kale. water to it and I think I would add more water to it the next time I do it the coffee taste is quite strong like too strong in my opinion for like a green smoothie so I might just stick with like one and a half tablespoons next time um, instead of three other than that it's a pretty thick smoothie because there's not a lot of liquid and I like ones that are less thick so again more water um, less powder I think will work quite a fan oh and I added honey because without it it literally is really it's very bitter um I think because of the cacao powder and the coffee powder and then the chia flaxseed all together which is a little too much so and this just arrived I think it's so cute it has matching pants that are coming in a separate arrival I have to put the room back together and then I have a call at um four so I have about an hour. I think I'm going to try to edit this video for tomorrow. I took off my red lipstick. I don't know if I filmed this weekly vlog. I don't know if you guys saw the red lipstick before I took it off. But I had bright red lipstick on for the video. It's the Giorgio Armani lip gloss that I got like more than a couple months ago. Finally used it for the first time. I really liked it. Um, check out the haul video if you want to see the red lipstick. Very impressed with the um, formula. It's like super, super uh, smooth and like not sticky. So I might check it out in like another color because I don't always wear red lipstick, obviously. So anyways, I'm going to put this in the laundry, maybe jump in the shower really quickly without messing up my hair, just because in case it's dirty and then I'm gonna throw the other sweater that came, let me show you. So I also ordered this sweater. I had already ended the video haul video, so I didn't add it to that video. So I'll just like wear it in the vlog and then you guys can see it. And then maybe I'll add it to a haul when the magic pants come. Yeah, so let me go edit some videos, which won't be very fun for you to watch. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. It is 7.25, so five minutes before. The YouTube video comes out. I just wanted to fix a couple things on the thumbnail because I just realized it was too bright. Um, so I'm just going to fix that. And then, um, sorry, 
I'm a little bit sneezy in the morning, especially now with the with the allergies and also just waking up so early. I woke up a little bit later today, so it's at 5:30, 6:30. I just like I woke up with a bad headache. I think I was a little dehydrated. I'm drinking my wheatgrass juice. The order is supposed to come in today. Like I had to order more um, of the capsules. <laughs> So I'm done with my wheatgrass juice, so I'm going to get some coffee before I start on the rest of my to-do list. I did some of them already, um, but I need to, oh, sorry about this lighting. So I've just been making drip coffee with my smeg um, because I need more coffee than my Nespresso normally gives me. But it's just, I'd like to change things up. It's not like I'm not going to use my Nespresso anymore. I'm just feeling bigger pots of coffee right now. Okay, so I just spent like five hours in front of the computer, so I haven't really done much. I had some calls, um, did some work like I said that I was going to. I just put a mask like here because I've been getting really like little bumps underneath my chin and then my nose. So just a little clarifying mask. It is this one. It's a Canadian beauty brand. It's called Bleu. I think that's how you say it or Blue. Um, it is a glacial oceanic clay mask. Really like tingly feeling and it's like a thick mask when it goes on and then i'm just gonna leave it for about like 10 to 15 minutes when it dries out a little bit more i'm also going to bring some laundry so while i wait for the mask to dry i'm gonna do some laundry i i'm going to be doing like a very delicate load because I want to wash this Zara sweater, the one that I showed you yesterday. And that's, I usually do delicates if I'm going to wash knitwear and I'm going to do like lights. All right, I just got back from the PO box, my UPS PO box to pick up some packages. I've been getting more sent there just because literally they don't ring the doorbell. I missed Canada Post. I've been at home all day. I can hear knocks from my office door. I can definitely hear doorbells. They said they missed me, so they left a sticker or like the sorry we missed you paper in my mailbox. So I had to go pick it up tomorrow after one. So that's why I'm getting stuff sent back to my PO box now because it's just unreliable to get stuff sent to my house now. So anyways, I came back, have some fun packages to show you. I did change again. Um, this is my old free city sweater that I think they sell the brand on um, Shopbop now. Probably not the exact same sweater, but similar things. And then these are the A Gold E Jamie jeans. So I'm gonna hang up some of the stuff I got um, here. This is way too low. Let's see if I can put it on the Dyson box. Is that better? Okay, I think that's a bit better. Um, I talked to my lawyer today about incorporating the business. So I'm pretty excited about that. That is finally happening. Getting some stuff ready for that. Big steps, big steps. Um, okay, so I got a package from Oakenfort and Aritzia. So I think I'm going to make it into a haul because why not? Um, I'll show you briefly in the video and I'll try it on in a whole separate video. This is like a grayish t-shirt, like a boxy, looks like it's gonna be a boxy fit from Oakenfort. This one I think is really fun. It's a like drawstring kind of crop top, got in a size medium so it'd be longer. And it has like this little guy there to like cinch in, which I think will be really fun. Like over slip dresses too, to give yourself a little waist. Then this is a cute little like wrap blouse thing. I have to get back to the people from cost too. So maybe I'll wait for that and then do another haul. These are size small, like elastic waist pants. So I think they'll be pretty comfy for at home wear, but also look cute in the spring summer because they are pretty lightweight. I'm really into the nautical sweaters apparently. This is a size large knit 
with the two stripes on the arm. Then this is the stuff from Aritzia. This is a like larger Wilfred blazer with a tie, it's like linen, it's a linen blend. It's a size small, so it's definitely oversized. I wanted it for my bike shorts and stuff. It's basically like a lighter version of the agency blazer that I showed you before. This guy, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a steam for these. Then this is called a shacket. It's a short sleeve jacket. So like similar vibe to the other like green blouse I got in the last haul, but this one has little bit more of like a utilitarian masculine shape to it. Very excited for these shorts. I just need it to warm up, okay? Like it is still cold here, but got some linen, like almost Bermuda shorts in like a light camel. And then these I'm so excited about, um, the A Gold E 90s style jean shorts. So as you know, I have them in the long pant, but I got them in the short because it's summertime. That's the little haul. I'm gonna go answer the emails that came in literally while I was gone for like 20 minutes. Um, and then that might be it for the day. Good morning, it is Friday. It's about seven o'clock, Travis just left for work. Um, I just changed out of my PJs. I think I'm going through about like two to three outfits a day now that I'm waking up so early. Kind of like a cozier outfit until noon and then I put on like real pants. So this is the Zara sweater that um, just came in the mail. It's every much as cozy and like cute as I thought it would be. I'm staying away from buying wool right now because I find that when I'm at home I don't want to work in my wool sweaters because like when I'm out and about like I feel like I don't feel the wool as much but when I'm at home sitting I just can't deal with it. So this one I think is like polyester. This one is 67% acrylic and 33% polyester. It's one of those thicker knit sweaters. It has a little stripe. And then underneath I'm wearing the Smash and Test romper that you saw in the last haul. I also threw the sheets in the laundry machine. So that's going. Um, I'm just gonna do some work right now. We need to actually find like a family doctor in Guelph. So I'm probably gonna spend some time looking at some reviews this morning so that we can start calling them just because my family doctor is currently in Richmond Hill and I feel like I have like wine on my lips. So I'm so sorry. Let me go like brush my teeth. yellow it's pretty dark out today because um, there's like a storm coming so I have the lights on basically what I was trying to say is that the laundry finished right as I finished my face massage I've been using the rosehip oil from pie and I think my skin's liking it so fingers crossed it's a keeper just did bed sheets I did some bed sheets along with like some random clothes that I thought could wash well with the bed sheets because it's not enough for like a full load. This is a Harley shirt that I'm actually going to cut into a muscle tee, so I'm going to do a DIY I think next week. All right, so I'm back at my desk. I am going to answer some emails that I got later last night um, that I didn't answer and get back to some comments. Oh, and then I have like a bunch of random things to buy online. I've had my cart like semi full again for a little bit. I have like so many little carts on the go. <sighs> oh, there was something else I want to add to my shopping list. That was like really bright. I guess my computer screen's super bright today. So I need to replace our cutting boards. I got the can opener. I have like a um a working this is like a really gorgeous linen blanket. Sorry, it's inside out. So it has like these really cool stripes throughout it and it's like a hundred percent linen. So it's like the perfect um like spring rainy day 
cozy blanket because it's so soft. And it's from Vessel Home Goods, which is a like a little boutique home decor place. Check it out. Hello, I've been MIA for a little bit. It is now 2.15. Made some leftover broccoli, <laughs> cauliflower, just from yesterday with some balsamic vinegar. Um, came back from some errands, had to go drop off some letters at Canada Post to send out. Requested our marriage certificate slash registration so I can start the process of changing my name, my last name. Um, and then I picked up some packages and I had to go back because I got another package literally as I got home. But I was like, you know what, it's the weekend. If I don't go out now, I'm not going to get it till Monday. There's some pretty fun ones I'm going to show you, but I have to change the battery first. Actually, I'm going to eat, change the battery, and then show you what I got. Okay, so I did an order from Uncle Studios and I got a Henley and a tank. But the Henley, they sent it in the wrong color. I got like a natural creamy color, um, but they sent the black one. So I just sent them an email asking... Um, if we could exchange it for the right color, but I did get the tank top um, in a black color, it's just like a ribbed tank. It's very soft feeling, so I'm super excited to try it out. I am gonna wash it before I try it on though. And then I got a package from Caudalie. I got these two creams and some upstairs in one. So one of them is the SOS Intense Moisturizing Cream. The other one is Instant Brightening Moisturizer and then and then I also got the Overnight Recovery Oil, which I'm pretty excited about because I have been looking for like an overnight, like a night cream and serum thing. So that's great that they sent that. And then the, which was English, SOS Thirst Quenching Serum. So moisturizing organic grape water and hyaluronic acid and antioxidant polyphenols. So I'm excited to try those. I did get a package from Organica. They are like collagen cookies, chocolate chip ones. And then this one is what, double chocolate chip, which is so good. I'm gonna try one after this. And then I got some Haribo candy from Shoppers when I went to Canada Post. So I also got a package from The Lobby. I'm gonna do a full like haul video with them very soon. So I'm not gonna show you everything, but there are some great basics and goodies in here. Jeans, a blazer. All right, I just washed my hands. I'm going to try out the regular chocolate chip cookie one. So it's gluten-free, friendly for keto diets, dairy-free, non-GMO, grain-free. So it says ooey gooey, melt in your mouth, Organica collagen cookies. Let's see if they're actually that good. They do feel really soft. And maybe like I'm gonna like break them. Okay. So they look like that, which is kind of a weird color. They're kind of orangey. They're very like sticky. They're all they're stuck together. Like that. Guys, I'm not a fan. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan. Okay, so that was not good. I'm not a fan. Um, maybe people who like like gluten-free candies and sugar-free candies might like it. So try it out if you want. It basically tastes like nothing. And then the texture is kind of weird. And I'm very texture focused. I'm gonna have some wine. It is basically three o'clock right now it's on a Friday of a long weekend. So I think that's okay. And I'm gonna have my fave chocolate covered almonds to kind of wash the taste out of my mouth and also they kind of like when you have it in your mind for something that you are gonna have like something sweet especially like chocolate if you don't have chocolate then it's kind of you're just like ah what do i do and i keep thinking about it there is something in my eye like i don't know about you guys but when i have it in my mind that i'm gonna eat something sweet like i need to eat something sweet otherwise i'm just gonna like feel hungry for the next like three hours until dinner Anywho, I am going to end the vlog here. I think I'm going to actually start editing it now before Trap gets home so that I have less editing tomorrow. And I hope you like the video. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Where should I put the Instagram handle? Up here. Follow me on Instagram and I will see you very soon.